guys welcome back to another video my name is Humika and in today's video we are starting with a new chapter of grade 8 chapter's name is La Vie au College that means the life of college all right so our journalist pay on son day au prêt de collation pour demander la opinion sur la vie au college elle interroge Philip please that means there's a journalist who has come to a college and who is interrogating the college students about asking their opinions on the life of college. So she's interrogating Philip. So let's listen what they're saying. So Karen is our journalist. She says, Bonjour Philip. Good morning Philip. Philip says, Bonjour. Karen says, Je, je vais vous poser quelques questions sur le vie au college. I'll be asking you questions related to your life in college. Philip says the court. The court means okay. All right. So, Karen, who said pray? Are you ready? So she said. Uh, she asked, "Are you ready?" Uh, Philip says, "We." Oui. She said, "Pray." Yes, I am ready. Karen says, "The professor so in survival amie o college." That means the professor are they helpful and friendly in college? Philip says, oui, oui, le professeur en sont très gentil et serviable. Yes, yes, the professors are very kind and helpful. Alright, so Karen says, est-ce que la villa et college très different à celle à l'école? That means, is the life in college different from the life of school? Philip says, no, la vie n'est pas different. Mais, nous avons des rapports ability au college qu'à school. On est plus occupé. That means he say, uh, no, the life is not uh, life is not different, but we had more responsibilities in college as compared to the school. We are more busy. Karen says, "Not through we will pass the time for sortir avec mon ami." Do you get? Uh, do you spend time with your friends? Do you get time to spend with your friends? So. Uh, See, no sort on the weekend. Yes, we spend weekends. No, I want to go the project of fair done. No, I want to bibliotech for the ultra or me. I pray no som libre. That means uh, that we we uh, meet at weekends. We have a lot of projects given, so we uh, go to bibliotech. Bibliotech is library for two to three hours. After that, we are free. Karen says, "La vie al uh, ala ekol gumok." So he says, "Philip, we oui, apa ala ekol nu ava boku de further regression." That means we had a lot of. What is the difference between your school and this? So Philip says, uh, "Is there a difference?" So he says, "Yes, a bit, a bit." School in school we had a lot of play time. Karen says, "Merci, Philip." Je vous en pierre. Welcome. Je vous en pierre. All right. So now the three or four. Philip n'a pas confé. Philip is not happy in the college. False. Uh, la vie de la école est plus facile à quel au college. The the school life uh, is much difficult than college. No. La professeur ne sont pas serviable à l'école. The Professors are not friendly. False. Philip saw Avex say Ami la weekend. Philip spends his weekends with friends. True. Philip travels to weekend to the bibliotech. He works in uh, he uh, works in the bibliotech on his weekend. Now you have to find the opposites. Okay. So see, share share is to search. So we, uh, its opposite would be lost, right? Break. Okay, similar you can do occupy upon the upper the we saw what is it? A lot of so you'll write upper that is a bit. Alright. Next is uh. Comments on the professor of college. How are the professors of college? So we saw that uh, the professors are three shontil is serviable. The, the professors are three 
जॉन्टील ए सर्वियाबल नेक्स्ट है आप वो नो बोकु दे कोर्ट दे रिक्रिएशन द कॉलर इस देर अ लॉट ऑफ प्ले टाइम इन दिस कॉलेज सो नो all right then then you can write that there is not much play time all right so now the the verbs so we are seeing tir verbs that is your ir verbs so there are some exceptions here sortir partir other is mentir and sentir so here you can see the conjugation is different we drop the tir and then we add sst or tons tez and tent all right so this is the conjugation you have to see now let's see the interrogation part so basically there are three ways of interrogating first is avec intonation so this is the most simple and used form it is simply by changing your tone now if you just hide this question mark and read this who regard the film you watch a movie all right now if you want to ask it as a question so you'll say who regard the film so it it the tone change and the meaning of the sentence changes all right so first way is this Second is avec esco, that is with esco. Okay, so esco is placed before the sentence. Now, if we had this sentence, we simply add esco in the beginning and then write our whole sentence and end it with a question mark. We form the second type of the sentence. If there is any vowel sound like your il or l, that time instead of writing co, we write this. All right, like this. Okay. Third type is inversion. So inversion is simply replacing the position of the verb and the uh, subject pronoun and the verb. All right. So if we see this sentence, "Who regard on film?" So it will become "Regarde vous en film," and then a question mark. When the subject is a noun, if it is noun, so you have to keep the noun as it is. Simply, if it is Pierre, so this means this is a male. So singular male. So it will come il. So we'll write here s il français. If it is a female, so we'll write s l français Canadian, like that. All right. Now if there is il, l, or on. All right. Now if we convert, uh, like if we just invert this, so it, the sentence would be il habit a Paris. Right. Now if inversion, if we do, so it'll be habit il now there are two vowel sounds coming together so that is not possible so we'll write here habitil a pari i hope that is clear now there is another type that is answering okay now if someone asks you uh, how are you nay like, are you indian so if you are indian you'll say we oui. if you are not an indian you'll say no we refers to a yes no refers to a no and there is a third type that is c when you are opposing any interrogate uh, when you are opposing any negative sentence with a yes that time we use c like if someone ask you you don't like ice cream right so you'll say c that means you are opposing him and saying yes that means you like ice cream All right. Now, if the question was you don't like ice cream and you seriously don't like ice cream, so you'll say no, I don't like ice cream. All right. So, do you know where pa or cinema? You do not go to the cinema. C. That is yes, I go. I went to cinema. Or you want you'll say no, Jenna where pa? No, I didn't go to cinema. All right. So, whenever there is any negation sentence and you want to oppose it with your answer as yes. We use what C. All right. Next is uh, adverb of quantity. So ad adverb of quantity are followed by the noun in the ending. Okay. So it usually does not have an article in front of it, like boku the, mua the, kombia the, throw the, to the. All right. Apa the. So boku the. Okay. We'll see here. So boku the means a lot of. Further is a bit. Throw the is too much of. Asse the is enough of. Plu the is more of. Mua the that is less of. To the that is so much of. Kombia the is how much or how many. 
Okay. So, il ya boku de zalab. There are a lot of people. Ja a muada trawal ka Philip. I have lesser work than Philip. Wo ave kombiya de bombo. That means how many candies do you have? Je tro de shows a fair. I have too many things to do. Tu met ton de sucre dans la cafe. You put so much sugar in the coffee. Je na pa pa le boar. I can't drink. Il ya a pa mond dans la restaurant. There are few people in the restaurant. So basically you have to learn all this for making proper sentences. So yeah, that is all. We'll see the exercises in, uh, in the further part of this video. So yeah, I hope you have understood. If you have any queries, doubts related to any topic, you can put it down in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye and thanks for watching.